This video is brought to you by Battleaxe. H.264 encoding is now native to After Effects, so- And Anubis is obsolete, right? Wrong. Anubis is so much more than MP4 compression, and I'm gonna show you exactly why it's still worth docking in your workspace. The first reason is quick one-click previews, and this is probably why Anubis got so popular in the first place. It's as easy as setting your in and out work area points in a comp, clicking on the Anubis button, sends it to the render queue, compresses the MP4 for you, and opens up the directory as exported to. There's my high quality, small file size MP4 that I can quickly share. It's as easy as clicking on that button, and that is one of the most useful functions of Anubis, even though there's a lot more to talk about here. The ability to be able to just click that button and have the MP4, not have to deal with the render queue. Yes, I could compress an MP4 in the render queue, but the compression settings in Anubis are just so simple. If I expand this up a little bit, you can see in the options that we just have high, medium, and low quality. It's very easy to do mix and match or multiples. You can export in all three qualities if you want to. It's really easy to customize, and the fact that I can just collapse this up to a small little button and click it whenever I need to share a video is so nice. Naming tokens are another ridiculously powerful feature of Anubis, and it makes file naming and even folder structures completely automatic. All you have to do is set it up, and then it will automatically follow whatever criteria you put into it. So let me show you how this works. By default, Anubis is just going to name your file after the comp, but we can go into this drop-down menu and choose from any one of these tokens to customize that file name a little bit further. And we can even work in custom folder structures through this naming token system. So let's say that I wanna organize this into a folder by date. I'm gonna say four digit year, and it automatically fills in the token for me. Then I wanna go by month, and actually let's put a divider between those. I'll use a hyphen, and then we'll do one right after the month, and we'll put day. So now we're gonna start with year, month, day, and then I'm just gonna put in a backslash to separate that into its own folder, its own directory. And then after that, we'll say comp name, but we could also incorporate the file name, frame rate or frame range, lots of different things here. And in fact, there's even a longer list of criteria that you can use as naming tokens. You can find the link in the description to the entire list if you wanna get super technical and nerdy about it. But I think this is gonna work. We're gonna put it in a folder according to the date and then name the file after the comp name. And the export path is also really customizable. I can either just choose a folder on my computer or I can export relative to the project file. So I'm currently in a directory for the After Effects project files, but I would like it to go into a different directory relative to that folder. So instead of being inside of this After Effects projects file folder, I'm gonna jump back a couple of directories, go into output and then into a previews folder, select that folder and Anubis automatically fills in the tokens that it needs to go up two directories and then into the output folder and then into previews. So this will be relative to whatever project I have open. So if I'm using the same folder structure, it's always gonna end up in the previews folder where I want it to be. Now that I've set all that up, I can collapse up the options, click on the button, not have to think about that again. It'll again send it to the render queue, compress an MP4, and open up that directory so I can see there it is, right in a folder named after the current date. It has the comp name as the name, and if I wanted to do a second version, let's say I made some changes and I compressed another MP4, it's not going to overwrite what was there. It's just going to automatically increment it, and now I have loading and loading O2. So that's just a fantastic time saver to be able to customize how things are automatically being named and where they're being placed. Again, enabling you to work in a custom folder structure and naming convention for however you wanna work, and you can change this up very easily for whatever type of project you're working on or whatever your client or employer requires. And we have a dedicated video for naming tokens on the Battle Axe YouTube channel. You can click the card above to watch that. Another fantastic feature is background rendering. If I go into the options and I check on background render, let's say that you're working on a comp that's much longer. I just looped this simple animation a bunch of times so that it filled up a comp for one minute, and I'm just gonna click on the export button. While that is exporting and compressing, I could go in and say duplicate this comp and work on one that's nine by 16 instead of square. And I'll go into that and get to work while the other video is exporting and compressing. So I'll just change my dimension so this one's taller. Let's get a background in there and we'll make it the same color so that it fills out and looks like it's supposed to. And now that's ready to go. And maybe I wanna make another version that's 16 by nine. Let's just change that out, 16 by nine. All this is happening in the background right now, rendering and compressing. It's giving me that progress update down here and I can continue doing work instead of having to stop every time I wanna export a preview. 
So there's my square version. Let's get this 16 by nine version ready to go. And then I can start exporting my nine by 16 while finishing up this one over here. Let's change the dimensions of this so that it fits the comp. And just like that, I was able to continue working in After Effects, making alternate versions of the same animation, all while Anubis was rendering in the background. Another great thing you can do with Anubis is skip the compression altogether. And you might be thinking, isn't that exactly what it's for? It's supposed to make compressed MP4s. And yes, that is one of the best features of Anubis. But if you go into the options, you can come down here and uncheck MP4 quality, and that will just bypass the compression altogether, leaving you with just the high quality video file based on the output module and the render settings that you use right here. These are all identical to what you find in the render queue, but in my opinion, it's just much more simple to use. But you can set up anything that you want in the render queue for an output module or a render setting, save it as a preset, and then refresh the list and they'll show up here right inside Anubis, which means that you can export full quality videos through Anubis, use that background render so it's not monopolizing After Effects. You don't have to open up Media Encoder. Or if you want the MP4 as well, leave that checked and just don't delete the original render file file, and that way you'll get both versions. So if you need to send off a preview to one person and you need to take that high quality file and put it into an editor's hands, that's absolutely something you can do with Anubis. Again, all while working in the background so that you can continue doing things in After Effects and ultimately get your work done faster, which is exactly what our mission is at Battleaxe. We're making tools for you to get your work done faster so that you can spend your time in more valuable places. Now, in addition to all of those great features, there are some really exciting updates coming to Anubis down the line in the very near future, so keep an eye out for those. If you haven't yet, go learn more about Anubis at battleaxe.co slash Anubis or click the link in the description. And if you already have Anubis, let me know some of your favorite ways that you've been able to use it. And let me know of any additional favorite features that you might have that I didn't get to cover in this video since there are so many of them. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos as soon as they're posted. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, what's up?